I am Yvette Renee, and you have entered into the real talk. Enjoy. It's your girl Yvette Renee coming at you with another real talk. This is a series that I've had on my channel for a while. I'll link the, the playlist in the, in the description box below or have it up in the card somewhere. So, to my new subscribers, hey, I'm Yvette Renee, and you guys are my love bugs. I call you guys my love bugs. That is my little term of endearment. So, welcome. Without further ado, let's get this video started. Before we do that, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So, living with type 2 diabetes, I am a 53-year-old woman of color. And um, so I found out in 2021 that I was type 2 diabetes. My A1C was, at that time, 7.2. So I will insert maybe some clips on basically what I had to, you know, I, at, at one point I had a doctor that had me pricking my fingers once a week, once, every, once a day, once a day it was, pricking my fingers, but she did not. She wasn't, she didn't look like me. So she didn't really explain herself when she told me. And I didn't feel really cared for. So I did, of course, switch up doctors to somebody that looked like me. And I basically felt more cared for. But anyway, when I found out, I just basically thought it was the end of the world because I have an aunt who is type 2 diabetic, as well as my grandmother, rest her soul. She was um, a diabetic as well, but she was type 1. She had to do insulin. My aunt is type 2, and she basically has to take the pills just like I do. So I take um, metformin. I take two every day, once in the morning, once at night, 500 milligrams, which is 1,000 milligrams. I also take... Um, the collect my cholesterol pill, uh, or I can't think of the name of it right now, but I will put it somewhere on the screen what the name of it is. And also, um, I have take I take this allergy pill as well, and I'm taking vitamin D3. So, um, yeah, so I decided to go ahead and when I found out about me being type 2, I researched, you know, what can I eat because. I'm going to tell you, I know how I ended up with diabetes, to be honest, because when we first moved out here, trust and believe, all I was eating fast food like on a daily, even though I had meals at home that, we, you know, on probably like a Wednesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday or whatever like that, I was stopping at somebody's fast food joint. And Krispy Kremes was my best friend with some coffee and everything like that. So I know how I got it. And then I gained the weight and stuff like that. But honey, trust and believe it. I'm still loved. And I still have love. You know what I'm saying? I'm not tripping off of that. I still love me. I love who I am. But I'm not loving taking this medication every day. I'm not loving the pain that comes along with my knees. I already had arthritis. I already had other issues going on with me prior to diabetes. And, you know, it comes with elbow issues, feet issues. I'm dealing with, I had to go to, I go to a foot doctor and stuff. And also I got, had to go to, um, to get shots in my knee continuously. And, you know, I've been doing, you know, other things. So what I did was I decided to do keto or low carb and and what my weight was I'm not going to disclose my weight at this time mm. but however <laughs> from the time 2021 that I found out about being diabetic uh, I have lost 35 pounds yes well really at that time yeah 35 maybe 35 yeah if that man don't mind not look at but I trust and believe <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I've lost 35 pounds and I was doing keto and stuff. So when I decided to switch my doctors and stuff like that, you know, the doctor that I had before said it was no problem and I did keto. And basically she was giving me like referrals, but not really doing the referrals. And then I go to the place and they're like, we don't see your referrals. And I'm like, this is a bunch of bullshit. So that's what I did. 
that's when I asked them, do I, is there somebody that look like me? And so I found he's not a doctor. He's actually a nurse practitioner, but he still looks like me, you know. And so when I got to see him and I switched over to him, he was on the ball with it. He was like, okay, by the time I went and saw him, uh, my A1C went down to 7.1. This is future Yvette. And I don't have diabetes anymore. My A1C went down. And now I'm pre-diabetic. So go ahead and continue to listen to this real talk with me living with diabetes. But just know God is good and God is good all the time. And he works. He works all the time. Continue watching. Mwah. And that was just eating just like not even exercising like I should. But that was also just sitting here and changing up. And yeah, I was doing keto and low carb and everything like that. But I was doing clean keto because I found out that there's a dirty keto and clean keto and all of the other good stuff. So I was doing clean keto. So when I switched over to him, he was like, oh, no, keto is a quick fix. You should not be doing keto. Keto's quick fix. You should just eat in moderation. Get as much exercise as you can if you can't do it right now. Therefore, just don't do keto because it's it's a quick fix. Mm -hmm. And um, he sent me to a nutritionist. Um, I had to go see other doctors. Um, foot doctor. I, that's how I was able to go see the foot doctor. I was able to get... Um, other stuff got other stuff done that was associated with the type 2 diabetes that I can't really recall at this moment and so they, and he gave me to a nutritionist and stuff so what I've been doing is like I've been reading labels and if y'all don't know those are you people out there that are vegans and stuff really read your dairy free stuff if you read it you'll find out that you are ingesting inflammatories what is like sunflower oils um Clonola oils because at first I was dairy free until I realized when I read the label of the dairy free butter or the dairy free cheese and stuff it had inflammatory oils and so I was trying to figure out why is it that my arthritis kept kicking in every time I turn around it was kicking in now I don't have an arthritis problem because I went to grass fed stuff um, I'm you know I did the low carb and the keto and everything like that and I started reading labels and I eat clean until my doctor sent me to the nutritionist. And I was just like, eh, this bee told me, oh, just go ahead and do whole food. I mean, whole wheat, uh, whole wheat shells and whole wheat bagels and stuff. And basically eat in moderation. So I went and I did that. Why in the F I gained six pounds? And why did I fire her ass on the spot and was like, uh, no, I'm going to do what works for me. And as long as I continue doing the low carb lifestyle, it won't come back because I was cool with living the low carb. I'm cool with it because I don't have a problem with it. Everything that I'm doing, it's I'm cool with it. And as soon as I went back, I gained the six pounds and then I lost five after I went back to the low carb low carb lifestyle so that's what I'm doing low carb slash keto lifestyle and I don't care what they say because I'm gonna do what works for me just like when um, back in the day I was doing Zumba and dancing and everything like that that's how it would lose weight quick but um everything that works for everybody doesn't work for me and vice versa so yeah it's it's okay I just don't I don't like taking the pills but you know what? God is good, and he going to turn it around. Won't he do it? If he can do it for me, he can do it for you. So that is the end of my real talk. If you have any questions or concerns or anything like that, or if you want to know a little bit more, comment below. Give this, give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, love bugs. That's something I don't regret Every night I close my eyes and see Only love into dreams, baby What can I do when I'm million?